the United States of America win their bout against Argentina. And we're heading straight back to the left-hand side of the list where Austria Mamy and England will be getting it on in a second. On the right-hand side we can see New Zealand getting ready again. Of the ladies from New Zealand and Poland, please report to the lists. And the United States and South Africa, please get ready. And the opponent of the New Zealand fighter who won the opening round is Poland now. Fresh appearance in front of her home crowd here for the Polish fighter. And her opponent from New Zealand won her opening bout against England in a rather dominating manner. She's, so she's already a little bit tired from the first fight. Slight advantage for the Polish fighter and of course the massive advantage of having the home crowd to back her. A mężczyźni też rzucą się za chwilkę w wir walki Anglia oraz Austria. On the left hand side now, Austria and England getting ready for their bout. And New Zealand and Poland are getting it on as well. The New Zealand fighter. Trying to do the same she did against England. Quick start, lots of shots at the beginning. And then defend until the end of the round. Trying to score just enough points to outstrike her opponent here. But Poland and England, we have to admit that that's two entirely different classes. And we can see that here, although the New Zealand fighter is doing a pretty good job again. Ah, she's offered up her back now to her Polish opponent and the marshals in between them and stops this fight, stops the first round. Very close round, I saw a lot of strikes from the New Zealand fighter but I'm not sure this is one of those rounds that, did, that could really go either way. We'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile, on the left-hand side, we could see England and Austria battling it out in the one versus one polearm of the men. And here we can see the New Zealand fighter trying to get a quick breath in between the rounds. Not much talk, just catching her breath. Getting ready again. What an amazing view over this list of the castle in the background, the flags hung up on the wall. And on the right hand side of the list we can see the fight is recommencing between Poland and New Zealand. New Zealand in the black surcoat with the white stripes and the red stars. Poland in the red surcoat with the white eagle. Lots of strikes with the back end of the helm of the weapon and the helmet. The visor has I hope she's not been injured there. It looks good. The visor is back on. And we can recommence the fight. Of course that does nothing good for you to see that your helmet is not as safe as you hoped it would be. And there we see it again. The visor pops open. And that's the marshal now. Intervening. And of course, that really hurts your confidence to know that your helmet is a weakness, is a weak point. And she's doing it again, and the visor pops open again. Now she'll have to do something to fix it. She's sent back to her corner.
I rozpoczynamy wyjaśniające starcie. Wyjaśniające starcie między Anglią i Austrią. And Austria versus England are going at it again on the left hand side as we've just briefly seen before we head back into this fight between Poland and New Zealand. So far in this second round, New Zealand fighter definitely at an advantage. And that also doesn't any good mentally for the Polish fighter to know that your helmet is a weak spot in your armor, that there could be a problem with it and that that makes you think a little bit too much I'm afraid and you can see she's trying to be defensive now inside we just saw Austria and England still going at it and the fighters had back into the corners I'm wondering what the Polish corner will do now. Trying to are they trying to fix the helmet? No, they're not. They're just letting her catch her breath. She's obviously exhausted. And I have to admit, I'm a bit surprised with that I definitely ranked the Polish fighter higher, but I'm sure that the weakness of her helmet has harmed her mentally, and she's, she's been trying to defend herself a lot more in this in the last round, after the visor popped open for the second and third time. She's been really hit in the head, and that keeps you from striking effectively as well. Here we go again. New Zealand versus Poland. New Zealand in black, Poland in red. Hard shot to the visor, hooking with a weapon now. The winner is England! On the left hand side, the win goes to England, as I just heard. Disappointing for me as an Austrian, of course. The winner is England! On the left hand side, the win goes to England, as I just heard. Disappointing for me as an Austrian, of course. And we're focusing on this fight between Poland and New Zealand again. Back end of the pole. And, and that looks to me as if she had to withdraw from this contest. That does not look good. Now she's getting back to her feet. Apparently just took a hard shot and had to go down. But of course, that's not doing her any good in a fight that's not gone the way she would have hoped it would go. Marshall going in between. Good reaction, stopping the shot that was about to come from the New Zealand fighter. And off with the helmet. Roberta, Kamile również, bo przed nim jeszcze dużo pracy, dużo roboty, żeby dojść do finału i zwyciężyć w klasyfikacji medalowej, pomóc Polsce zwyciężyć w klasyfikacji medalowej. A dowiedzmy się, kto wygrał u kobiet. No właśnie, patrzymy i wygrywa. And the win goes to New Zealand again in her second appearance here. Win for New Zealand over the favorite of the whole crowd favorite Polish fighter. Two appearances, two wins. Good start for New Zealand to their appearance here at the IMCF World Championship 2015. Man representative of France.
and man representative of South Africa, please prepare to the next battle. Szlanki wchodzi. Nasza przedstawicielka Afryki Południowej, Republiki Południowej Afryki oraz z drugiej strony Stanów Zjednoczonych. So on the left hand side now we can see Ireland versus Poland. That's the Polish home crowd favorite, Robert Szatecki from Poland, and his weapon has just broken, I think. Marshall has intervened. And here comes the new weapon, added in by his brother. And the marshal is in between them for the end of this round. Getting ready again against South Africa's Krista Heisen Martin. The United States on the right hand side in blue and red white stripes. South Africa in the black tartan with the, the black surcoat with the colors of South Africa on the front. There we can see it as well, South Africa versus the United States. And the first round is already over again. Not a very active fight, not a very spectacular fight either. Uh, he knocks him down with a strike to the head. Right there. That shot hit him in the head, and all he heard was timber, and he fell to the ground. And I think the weapon of the Irish fight is it about to break or not and another and his weapon is broken again and you can see his frustration you can see his pure frustration about this that's the third weapon he takes into this fight now but as we've seen with two hard shots, with two knockdowns. And another hard shot. And it looks to me as though the Irish fighter is rocked already. He looks stunned, he looks dazed and a little bit confused. So I think we can all agree on who wins this round. On the right hand side we see the fight between the United States and South Africa is still going on in the ladies competition and in the men's competition we're now waiting for the results apparently and here we see the fight is stopped as well between the United States and 